hello, hello, Tina. Hello, Todd. I literally just hit play and opened a soda and spilled soda on my hand. So give me one second. <laughs> ah, I don't want to get soda on comics, so I got to clean this up. YouTube has been really frustrating with these live streams lately because it's like, it's not processing them. Oh, thank you, Ted. <laughs> I just don't want to get soda on the comics. It was on my hands. Uh, so yeah, the last few streams... Oh, wait, let me say hi to everyone at the beginning of the video here. All right, hello, my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here. And today we're going to go through a lot of comics. A lot of comics. Uh, yeah, YouTube's been really frustrating lately. My... Uh, Hey Jets, my stream yesterday, the first stream walking to the five points got deleted randomly. I don't know how that happened. That bummed me out. And then today's comic stream, if you guys aren't following me on Pop Walks, I did a full two hour, two and a half hour dig. Oh, hey Alex. Hey Brian, digging for comics for two and a half hours uh, at the Brooklyn Comic Invasion today. I bought a lot of stuff. I bought out several vendors of stuff. And uh, we're going to have a fun time going through all the comics I picked up today. I bought a lot of comics. So if you guys aren't following me on Pop Walks, that's why I did the live stream today. Just digging through these comic books. And I'm doing the live reveal today on this channel. I'm probably going to edit the Pop Walks video, though, and show the highlights uh, tomorrow on this channel. Okay, let's start digging into some comics. Hey, 420. Ian? Um... All right, so this was super, super cool. My friend Kyle had a box of, uh, you know, you can negotiate. He said negotiate. So I saw this really cool. It's signed by George Perez, so that signature is correct. Uh, not 100% sure who that is. So it's double signed. So I wasn't sure what I wanted to pay on that. I was like, give me a number. He's like, no, you have to negotiate. But then I saw this. So this is a super rare 1 in 25 New 52 variant. This one is like, just you don't see it. This one is a ghost, right? This one is, so I asked how much is it? He said he had priced at 225. I looked on eBay. The last one went for best offer, just under 200. I'm not sure how far under 200. So I was basically like, Kyle, you hate me if I offer you 100 for this. He's like, yeah, take it. 100 bucks. I paid $100 for this one in 25. I think it's probably worth at least like 150. I know it's one I've wanted for a while. I know it's super rare. So I was thrilled to get that. And then uh, I was like, oh, how much do I want? So I offered him 25 on this, but he said, give me 20. So he actually gave it to me for a better price. So I got those two for 120. Two really awesome books. I mean, the cover's cool, but the get uh, George Perez signature is amazing. Uh, okay, now I gotta remember everything I bought from a whole bunch of different vendors. I'm gonna try my best. Uh, I forget this guy's name. I always forget. I'm so bad at remembering people's names, and I feel terrible when that happens. Uh, but he had an amazing dollar bin. If you watched on my live stream, uh, Jason was digging through. I was like, Jason, what do you rate that dollar bin? And he said, 7 out of 10. And so I had to look, and now I think it was even better than that. Just Bronze Age books in decent shape, probably like a fine, a very fine copy. Oh, just trying. Oops, I gotta get this. I don't have the stabilize. Yeah, it was really fun today. Just digging, digging, and digging comics. There we go. That's better. And so, I just anyone who's missing me out on the walk channel, that's where I'm gonna do all the live stream uh, walks. So it's just it doesn't disrupt this channel. But I do love doing the live streams. Uh, so these were a buck a piece. And I think he even gave me a little bit of a better deal after I added them all up. So we have Logan's Run number five. We have, uh, hey, Aussie oh, combo collector. Uh, Jason found four, three or four copies today of Ravagers 2099 for you. So we're starting to build the stack up. Uh, John Carter, Warlord of Mars number seven. Uh, Starfire number eight. I actually, I didn't really, or I didn't recognize that cover. So I think that's the last one I need for that set. Uh, John Carter 23. I mean, I'm going to grab any early bronze stuff I see. Or like 
Ooh, the 74s, I think. Uh, John Carter, number 6. Number 28. Logan's Run, number 2. Love the covers on those. Uh, Paul the Samurai, number 7. A tick spinoff. That's for a dollar. I'll take that all day long. Any of these tick spin offs, I'll buy any day for a dollar. Uh, hey, Card Imperial and Comics. We got Tick Circus at the Mighty, number one. We got Skull the Slayer, number five, for a buck. And these are in decent mid grade shape. Skull number four, number seven. Uh, oh. Okay, I get a connection, but it's really weak tonight. Ah, I must have been uh, just streaming too much or something. Hey, Jimmy. Okay, all right, now it's working. It's oh, but it's frames per second seems really off right now. I am not sure what is going on. Was it better before I switched? Maybe I'll go back on the Wi-Fi because I feel like the. I'm not sure if it's the Wi-Fi or the internet that's acting up or the cellular. I don't know. Is the picture pretty good right now, guys? Not 100% sure. I think it's okay. It seems to be back. I, that was weird. It's really just cut out there. Okay. So, Aussie comic book collector. When I get to maybe like 50 issues, so it's a reasonable package, we'll figure out a trade. Because I would love to get some just cheap Australian comics. All right, we got uh, Skull Slayer number 7. Logan's Run, number two. I grabbed all these because, honestly, these are worth way more than a dollar. These are amazing. So I grabbed a whole bunch of those. Uh, Skull the Slayer, number six. Uh, Gru, number five. I couldn't leave a Gru there for a dollar. Especially a low number like that. Uh, Blondie, 197. Daffy. Uh, I don't think this is a Del Four color. Yeah, this is just Daffy number 11 for a dollar. Yeah. Uh, Chroma Tick. Now in color, so it's a color tick. Oh, yeah, that's super cool. That for a dollar felt like a really good price. Uh, Doctor Strange number 10. And Humans number 5. Uh, Red Sonia number 2. Uh, Sad Sack and Sarge 103. I like the coloring on that one. Des the Menace 114. John Carter, number six. I do need to get all these bagged and boarded. John Carter, number three. Number five. Skull, number two. Skull, number three. Man, these covers are pretty cool, though. I do like those. Uh, Strange Tales, 174. John Carter, four. The Comet, number one. I'm not sure the cover artist, but I thought it looked pretty awesome. And the Comet, number two. Again, pretty awesome looking. That one's more awesome, though. Uh, Logan's Run number seven. Love Logan's Run. Uh, Strange Tales one seventy seven. Uh, it is. It's beautiful. Uh, Red Sonia two. Red Sonia five. Uh, Skull number eight. So those are all a buck. Uh, so if any of these are duplicates, I will probably be sticking them in my shop. Just anything that I don't... I mean, everything that I have already will be for sale. Eventually, though. I don't know how fast or how long I'll take to actually sell it. But, uh, yeah. I, what I usually do is I just buy a ton, then I sort a ton. So, it's not... Anything I buy doesn't go out for sale for a while. Uh, this book was 5 bucks. I thought this was pretty cool. This is a... Uh, just like a reference book from the 70s. That's a... Um, just reprints a whole bunch of Golden Age. Maybe like 40 or 50 covers. So I just thought it was just cool as a reference to some old school. Like, a lot of this stuff I might never have a chance to own. Like, this issue. Such a classic issue. And, uh... Oh, yeah, Anthony. It was wonderful seeing you today. It was fun. We were competing how many boxes we could buy. Uh, Anthony, how many boxes did you end up getting today? Oh, hey, Jason. Yeah, I was, I was going to uh, stream, and then my record guy contacted us, and he had a whole bunch of records he had to drop off at the shop. So I had to stay open extra late. But yeah, look at all these. Are just it's just fun to have all these reproductions of amazing golden age books that I probably won't ever own.
But maybe if I work really hard and win the lottery. <laughs> but yeah, no, so you guys should have seen Street Side. He was walking out with comics. Like, I mean, boxes. Like, most people walk out with single comic books. 16, I beat you today, Anthony. I bought... Uh, Mike and Eric sold me like 27 boxes. <laughs> it's our rare feet. I beat Anthony for one day. One day only. Okay, from Kyle's Comics. All right, we're going to do this. We got a nice little stack here. Uh, this stack added up to 90. And I think they gave it to me for 75. Oh, hey, Sean. Yeah, Silver Age. If I see Silver Age, check this out, Sean. I got a really cool um, George Perez signed book tape for 20 bucks. So, yeah, so we got um, post code. So, like right after the code change, Mystery Tales. I still really like these. Uh, this one they had marked at 50, 2.5 to 3 0. I think it might even be a 4 0. It's just a bit tan. The tanning is uh, the. the the effect that affected it the worst, but there's no major chips or tears, so I thought that was really cool. We got Dell Four Color number two forty. Love the old Dell Four Colors. Uh, Daredevil one thirty. I've become a bigger fan of Charles Bureau lately. I've been trying to find more of his stuff, like super super cheap. So ten bucks on that. Although it does look like it might have been restapled, maybe not. Uh, Dell Four Color three twenty two. Absolutely love. I kind of love Golden Age Moon covers. I like just like when they do this kind of blueish navy blue, and then the moon is orange. I love that. And then Wilbur number thirty-four. So that added up to ninety. They gave it to me for seventy-five. So that's uh, uh what fifteen off of ninety, ten, twenty percent. So like eight dollars, etc. Eight dollars, uh, forty bucks for that. Yeah, those are pretty awesome. Cool stuff. And then, uh, uh, man, people are throwing deals today. It was just like everyone was trying to get rid of comics. I don't know if it was just a slow day or, uh, you know, my friend Kyle was throwing stuff at me. Okay, I think, all right, let's grab this box. That box we're going to do first. So I think, ah. Uh, <laughs> no, I can't stop buying comic books. It's my lifeblood. That's like trying to ask someone to stop breathing. It just doesn't happen. Just does not happen. Uh, okay, so I think these were from... I want to say these were from... Uh, um, oh, I forget the, his name now. I'm drawing a blank. I just drew a blank. But all these were like one or two bucks. So we have uh, Sundance Kid, Blazing Six Guns, number two. Two bucks. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, everyone was trying to get me to their tables. <laughs> uh, Fighting Marines 101 for two bucks. I thought that was pretty cool. I'll buy old awesome Charlton's for two bucks any day. Uh, Phantom number 58 for two bucks. Uh, Turox on a stone. I'm not sure the number. About two dollars is cheap on that. Uh, Richie Rich Jackpots number 20. Uh, he had other Richie Riches for a dollar, but this one seemed to be in better shape. I like to get him at least like mid grade on those. Uh, Wolf the Barbarian number one for a dollar. Uh, Read Only Memories number three for a dollar. Uh, well, I started. You know what I did today? I started grabbing Spider Man books because I kind of need them for my shop. So I got Web Spider Man seventy seven, uh, Web of Spider Man ninety five. So, and all these were a dollar. And in my shop, I usually get about $3 for Spidey books. So, I kind of needed a restock on those. Uh, well, Sean, you buy every day. So, I don't always buy. I just, when I do buy, I buy a lot. Uh, DC, DC Special presents Strain Sports number nine. Uh, Odin's Eye number five. I like buying bad idea books for a dollar. I always think that's fun because you don't see them that often. Uh, Wolverine, Black, White, and Blood, number four. And World's Unknown, number three. All for a buck. Yeah, Jason found a lot of cool stuff, too. He was finding stuff for me. I actually have to get some from him. He had, I think, like five or six books for me, which I, I'm going to get from him later in the week, I think. Okay, let's see what's next. Uh, okay, this is more stuff from him. Uh, let's see. This one was, they had it priced at 
40. Yeah, it's priced at 40. Uh, like, I don't mind the edge damage as much, but it did have one little tape pull there. I was like, ooh, so they said throw a number. So I said, uh, how about 20 bucks? So they gave me that one for 20 bucks. $20 felt like a great price. I got a uh, Peach Momoko Virgin variant that I didn't have yet for 15 uh, Porky Pig, not sure the number, but two bucks. Amazing. Uh, Del Four Color, eleven seventy five for two bucks. Honestly, I'll buy Del Four Colors for two dollars all the time. <laughs> Jason got the one of a kind wanted items that no one else but him would want, <laughs> except for me. I want them too, but I only want them for super duper cheap when I buy ten thousand of them at once. Uh, we got Our Fighting Forces 135, Joe Kubert cover. We got Combat, or War Stories Combat. I'm not sure which number, but I thought the graphics looked really great on that. Uh, Fighting Marines, number 93 for a dollar. More Spidey for a dollar. Honestly, in my shop, 50% of the comics I sell are Spider-Man. If all I had was Spider-Man in my shop, I'd probably do really, really well. Hey, DJ. So I was like, today I was kind of thinking I should buy Spider-Man to kind of help pay for all the other stuff I buy. Uh, Glow the baby face, number one. Voyage to the bottom of the sea. Really fun painty cover. Another issue of that. Also a fun painty cover. And a third issue. Not in the best shape, but at a buck a piece, why not? Uh, the Destructor, number one. Uh, oh, okay. So I bought this for uh, John Ford. I bought him She-Hulk, number 26. I know he's looking for these. It was a dollar. I'm going to put that to the side. Uh, and then All-Star Western, number eight. I didn't realize it was missing a little chunk right there. I might not bought it, but it was still just a dollar. And then we have Gasp, number three, for a buck. That's pretty awesome. I love Silver Age books and Bronze Age books for a dollar. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I got... Oh, yeah. All right, more good stuff from them for a dollar. Yeah, the Atlas books are amazing. Uh, this was super cool. This was, uh, Carl had this one for sale. He had it marked at 40. I had $27 left on me. I offered him 27 and he took it. So Ace Comics, number 120. Really fun Golden Age book. $27 in pretty decent shape. Really happy with that. Uh, a Jerry Lewis issue for a buck. Like, not in the best shape, but but not terrible. You know I'm working on that. And then a Sugar and Spike number 81 for a dollar. That felt like a steal as well, because that's another series I'm working on. Uh, G.I. War Tales number four. Batman. Uh, not in the best shape, but for a buck, I thought... I bought that for my shop, basically. I know I can get, like, three or four bucks out of that. Uh, so, uh, Mike and Eric drove the boxes I bought from them to my place, and then Kyle drove his boxes. So I had two people offer. I had many, many people, Anthony, offering me a ride. So that was awesome. Uh, Venom Lethal Protector 3, newsstand for a dollar. That felt like a great steal. Uh, X-Men 2 or 3 for a dollar. Again, a lot of the stuff I was actually buying for my shop this time. Just thinking I need to think more in terms of paying for everything I buy because I've been buying too much lately. Uh, Spider-Man number 39. Spider-Man number 43. Maximum Carnage, Spider-Man number 36. I mean, these are great books for a dollar, though. Dollar is a steal on these. Spider-Man 40. Okay, those are great books. All right, I got to get these organized after this show. What do we got here? Okay. Okay, and then I... I think the... No, the, all right. This is still the same vendor. Let's see what we got. We got Detective 436 for a dollar. Uh, another She-Hulk 49, which I believe was a dollar. Uh, number 31, I believe was a dollar. Although I guess he had a higher price, but I only paid a dollar for these. <laughs> of course, Anthony, of course. I needed to go with you sometimes and hunt books. Uh, okay, and then I believe these all came from Chris. I got these for $2 a piece. Pretty high grade Iron Fist 4. Number 7. I mean, $2 on these felt like an amazing price. Number 9. Number 10. Love that cover. Howard the Duck, number 6. Love old Howard books. And these are in pretty good shape, too. These are probably all very fine copies. 
Uh, number nine. Number 11. Uh, How are the Duck Giant Size Annual for two bucks? That's like a steal on that. Number two, two bucks. Amazing. And then Giant Size Duck Savage for two bucks. Was that? Uh, you can't do all those books. This has to be back to this. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to show everybody. I'm showing the highlights tonight. Tomorrow, I might do a sort video. Yeah, I want to go to all yeah. Yeah, I got. I just got to take Anthony. Anthony's always offering me rights. I really need to take him up on one of his... Uh, one of the days when he says, Sean, let's take a road trip hunting comics. Oh, this box is getting floppy. Okay. Then Chris was really cool. As Chris watched one of my previous videos, and he saw that I was looking for the... Um, uh, what was it? The Radiant Black? Yeah, Radiant Black. So he had a whole bunch he put to the side. He sold to me for a buck a piece, which is amazing. There we go. All right. We got uh, Inferno Girl Red. I really like the covers on this series, so I figured a dollar each was a great price. I love, I love when people watch my videos and I say I'm looking for something and then they find me a whole stack of it for an amazing price. Sweet. Uh, X-Men 92 variant edition. I thought that was a really fun cover. Uh, these ones actually, we're still at $2 each for these ones. We have uh, Superman 2. I think this is a design variant for 2 bucks. Uh, Task Force Z 2 fun foil cover for 2 bucks. Okay, and then all the Radiant Black and spinoff stuff was a dollar. So the Dead Lucky, number one. Radiant Black, 16. Radiant Black, 18. Radiant Black, 19. A Spawn Virgin cover? That's cool. So I guess there's a couple nicer ones mixed in. Number 21. Yeah, these covers are really cool. Number 22. Uh, Rogue Sun, number seven. Oh, man, I love that cover. I like the design on this one with the sideways logo. It looks so cool because you can almost, like, hold it like that. Uh, Radiant Black, number four. Uh, second printing. Radiant Black, number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. I love that cover. That cover is amazing. Number 11, number 12, number 14, number 15, and uh, Radiant Red, number 4. So, yeah, I'm really happy to pick up a lot of those all for a buck. Hey, Axius. Okay, then it looks like I have a whole other stack of them. Yep, I'm going to put these down. Put these down. I'm going to just pull this whole stack up here. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got uh, Radiant Red number five. Again, for a dollar. Rogue Sun number one for a buck. Rogue Sun number two. Rogue Sun number three. Rogue Sun number four. Number five. Number six. Uh, number... Oh, Radiant Black number three. The Dead Lucky number two. The Dead Lucky number five. A spawn variant. Uh, Radiant Pink number one. Love the cover on that one. I think she just looks so cute. Uh, Radiant Pink number two. Radiant Pink number three. Radiant Red number one. Radiant Red number two. Radiant Red number three. Rogue Sun number eight, number nine, looks like a spawn mashup again. Uh, number 10, super massive. I don't see the number. And then, okay, this next vendor had a, um, I know I'm always, always, uh, yeah, most of these will be for my collection unless I have duplicates. I always sell duplicates, but I'm always looking for myself. Uh, this next vendor had what I would call the 67 cent bin. 67 cents. So it's basically uh, 30 comics for 20 bucks. So I was like, all right, 
30 bucks? I'm going to see. Okay, sleep well, Sean. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, we got Vigilante 27. So it's like 67 cents. I'm going to grab all the Vigilantes. Number 28. I don't know what I need for my run, but I was like 67 cents. It feels like a deal. Number 15. Love these, though. Number 17. These are comics my brother had when I was a little kid. So I just like, whenever I see them, I get really nostalgic. Number 16. Number 18. Number 19. Number 20. Number 21. Number 22. Number 23. Number 26. Number 6. Number 8. Uh, so this was the first issue I saw in the box, though. Hey, Nicholas. When I saw this, I was like, okay, I have to find 29 other books to do, you know, 30 for 20 bucks. So that issue alone, I think, is worth a good chunk of that. And then I got the Avengers number one, a Mark Brooks cover. Absolutely love that one, too. And then I grabbed these issues of Drifter. I thought they just looked like really cool sci-fi books. Number 18. Number two, I believe. Number three. And number four. And then this cool Daredevil issue. It's a variant of some kind. Uh, some Bronze Age Justice League. Number 182. Number 180. Space Bandits, number one. Really like the artwork on that one. Really gorgeous. Uh, the Sandman, number 49. Uh, Bloodborne, the little uh, with Nightwing. And some more Spidey for the shop. Spectacular Spider-Man 207. Spectacular. Oh, 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 we're losing an empty box. Lost empty box. <laughs> Give me one second. I don't have, I need to have my proper setup here. It's so hard to not be set up. All right, I'm going to reload this box so that I can fit stuff in here. This is what happens when you're doing live, you have mistakes. Okay, I'm gonna put all the books from before in here so it's easier. Keep them up. Okay. Right, that box is done. Hold on. Oh, I'm losing everything everywhere. No! Oh! Okay. Alright, these comics gotta go away too. This table is too slippy. Too slippy. Okay. Too slippy. Okay. Oh, now. Okay, I got that book. Okay. Yeah. It was, well, that's why I fell over because it was empty. It had no. Um... No, what I need is uh, just a proper wall to be filming against. Right now, I'm just, that's an empty space right there. <laughs> it's just a table in the middle of an aisle. Yeah, no, for 67 cents, why not? 67 cents is a steal. And uh, X-Men 249. Yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. Okay, let me... Yeah, okay, we went through those, we went through those. Okay, what's the next box I want to go through? Okay, so this box... Yeah, let's go through this box. This box is pretty cool. So, Eric and Mike, they, uh, you know, I bought a whole bunch of stuff from them the last two times. And so they put a whole stack of uh, Silver Age and Golden Age and all that to the side for me. So this is all stuff they had on hold for me. Oops, I want to hold these for John. Uh, so these, this is the box that was two bucks a piece. So a whole bunch of Silver Age stuff for two bucks. Pretty awesome. Metal Man number three. You know, lowish grade, but the price was perfect. Uh, Superman Annual number one. Superman Annual number two. Challengers of the Unknown number 40. Challengers of the Unknown number 36. Uh, Challengers of the Unknown number uh, 16. Not in the best shape, but still a cool 10 cent cover. Challengers of the Unknown, number 42. Number 43. Number 44. This one's kind of low with grade too, but that's okay. Number 46. Uh, number 74. Okay, I'm going to move these. This table just seems to be a little bit too slippery right now. 
I'm gonna move this forward a little bit so I can reach it better. Okay, let's try that. See if that works better. Okay, Aussie combo book collector. Catch you later. Okay, another stack here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, you know what? This light, I'm gonna move the light down. I feel like we're not getting the best light at the moment. Okay, making some adjustments mid-show. Mid-show adjustments. Okay, there we go. All right. That's way better. Way better. Okay, two bucks a piece. Yeah, great deal. Not, you know, they're all kind of lowish, like 2-0, 3-0 condition. But for two bucks, I am thrilled. World Finest, number 140, uh, 171. Uh, number 145, number 147, number 144, number 127, number 154, uh, 156, really cool Joker Bizarro cover. I like that one a lot. I do need the bag and board all these. Uh, World's Finest, 139, Tarzan. Very, very floppy. I gotta move these to the side. Uh, yes, I did. I told him that... Well, how many did you find, Jason? Four of them? Uh, yeah, I told him I have a side. He said to hold our horses, because we've already hit, like, 20 of them. <laughs> We're buying them at a rate. He's not going to be able to keep up with us. Us New Yorkers know how to find a ravage twenty ninety nine. <laughs> uh, Kona, Monarch, uh, Monster Island, uh, Action Comics, 348... Action Comics 303. Love this cover. I don't know how easy that tape's going to be to get off of there. Uh, Action Comics 312. Whoops. Yeah, I think it was four. So I think we're up to six this week, seven, something like that. I actually found a few, too, just randomly in one of the boxes I had. Action Comics, Action 317. Uh, Teen Titans number 16. Love that cover. Awesome Nick Cardi cover. Action Comics 341. Uh, Tarzan of the Apes. Awesome painting cover. Uh, Action Comics 304. There we go. Those. 145. Let's see. 145. Let me see which one. 145. 145. 145. Uh, one hour later. I'm not sure which one we're looking at <laughs> it's all good it's all good i don't know how far the delay is that's a long delay between what i'm showing you and what i see 147 71 yeah two bucks a piece for low grade is okay with me for silver age stuff i will buy them like crazy 144 145 oh what is the uh, key significance of this one let me know what the key significance is of that one. Okay, I'm going to put that one to the side. Okay, another stack. Some more $2 books. Uh, Action Comics 305, I want to say. Uh, Action Comics 290. Flash 232. Uh, okay, Axius, sleep well. I know. I wish I started earlier. I started way too late tonight. I just, I had, uh, my record guy had to drop off a bunch of stuff. Uh, Superboy 187. That was in pretty decent shape. Uh, 135. Superboy 126. Superboy 112. Marvel Collectors Classic 22. Action 392. Uh, Lancer. Not sure the number on that one. A Mighty Samson. That was a cool painted cover. Another really cool Mighty Samson painted cover. Uh, these need bags and boards, though. They get so floppy. Wow. Uh, uh, I don't know if I'm selling that one. I have to double check it into my collection. Most of the stuff I'm not going to sell for a long time. Oh, okay. Sweet. Okay. Mighty Samson... Samson, these are really cool painted covers. Absolutely love these. I think they're amazing. Mighty Samson, Mighty Samson, Mighty Samson, 
Mighty Samson. More Mighty Samson. Ah, I'm getting so much of this kind of stuff lately. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> okay, those are all... That's kind of the lower end of the $2, but I'm still willing to pay $2 for that kind of stuff. Okay, but this was kind of the better... I mean, this issue is in terrible shape, but I do really like these boy comics. I think they have great covers. I've become a fan of the Charles Bureau stuff. So, uh, number 109. Okay, Anthony, take care. Uh, Metal Man number 4. This whole run, there's a whole bunch of these Metal Man, which is amazing. Number 5, number 8, number 9, number 10. Love these. These are awesome. Number 12, number 13, number 14. That cover is cool. I love that guy. Really cool cover. Uh, number 15, number 16, number 18. This is like a huge chunk of the run, which I'm happy because I really want to complete this run. Number 19, number 22, number 23, and number 24. Those are amazing. And then one more handful, which, uh, all right, let me put some other books back in this box so it doesn't flop over. Don't want this box to flop over. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at, I want a giant size X-Men 1 and an Action 252 soon, because both prices are getting pretty reasonable. Uh, Metal Man 27, 28, 30, 35, 55, uh, Mighty Crusaders number 1, that's cool. Number 2, number 4... Uh, oh, did I miss? Uh, yeah, I don't have an online store at the moment. Uh, number five, number six, uh, Magnus Robot Fighter. This is. Ah, uh, what issue is that? It looks like it's the second print of the number one, I think. Yeah, number 22. I always get confused because it looks like number one, but it's different. But yeah, two bucks for that is great. Uh, Doom Patrol 106. Uh, Forever People 11. Wonder Woman 159. Uh, Green Lantern 139. Uh, Green Lantern 55. These are low grade, but still amazing books for two bucks. Uh, Superboy 138. Superboy 97. Oh, all right. I'm going to move these. They're getting floppy. Getting too floppy. Good thing I bought a whole ton of Silver Age bo uh, bags and boards lately for this kind of stuff. Oh, and I'm dropping those. Okay. That's, oh, this one has an awesome add on it. It's a Superboy 111. Pretty awesome cover. Uh, yes, a lot of key issues. The prices are really weak right now, so there's so many great deals. I feel like the prices are all coming back down to where they should be, not the crazy prices they were the last two years. Uh, look how cool the Aurora ad is on the back, though. Yeah, that one's pretty nice for two bucks. Uh, Superboy 114, Superboy 166, Superboy 162... Superboy 157, Superboy 124, uh, Superboy number 42. I didn't realize there was an earlier issue. Now, the spine is a bit split, I think. But that is cool. Very cool. Uh, Superboy 164. Uh, another copy, 166, 170, 176. All right, those are super cool. Super, super cool. this i want to fill this box up so it's not flopping uh, okay so this next box is kind of like a wholesale box i bought uh, uh i just did a quick math i think it was about 100 books uh kyle wanted to clear it out 
And so I just, I kind of calculated maybe $4 a book on it. So I offered him $400 and he said, that's fair. So I think that's a good deal. There is some cheaper stuff, but for every like book that was priced a dollar or two, there's a book like this that's 50 bucks. So $4 a piece, I think was a really good price on this box, but let's go through it and figure it out together. So we have X-Men 103, love early new X-Men stuff. X-Men 118, this one is in really nice shape. Yeah, he has that 9-0. Oh, that one's gorgeous. Uh, X-Men 119. That one is fine. Very fine. Gorgeous copy. X-Men 116. So that kind of stuff, the $4 was like a steal price. Now the question is if the rest of the box is kind of worth it. X-Men 184. They have it as high grade. Uh, X-Men 267. Uh, Marvel Tales. No, Marvel Age Annual Number 4. Awesome cover. Uh, X-Men 544. This is the last issue in the series, so this one is a little bit collectible. Uh, X-Men Deadly Genesis 10. $4 is probably like right around what it's worth. Uh, Marvel Zombies number 3. Awesome cover. $4 is a good price on that. Uh, Thor God of Thunder number 1. Nice key issue. Number 3. Number 20. Those are actually really good prices. Yeah, the X-Men covers are amazing. So like I said, for every like $10 book, there's a $20 book. Thor number 7, uh, number 10, number 11. So even these are good solid books at 4 bucks. Uh, number 13, number 15, number 16, number 17, number 12... Uh, number 20, number 21, uh, let's see, this is number 19, first appearance of that guy, I think, uh, number 22, number 23, number 24, oops, uh, number 25, so it says Jane Foster Thor cameo. Is she on the last page of that one? Uh, let's see. Doctor Voodoo number one. I don't know if that's a variant or not. No, I think that's just a regular cover. But that's cool. I actually haven't seen that before. Uh, infamous Iron Man number one. Or Infamous. Uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur number seven. He's got this price at 25. I wonder if this is a variant or... Uh, just a rare issue, I guess. Maybe it's the first appearance of a character. Uh, anyone know why that issue has value to it? Okay, let's see. Avengers number one, John Romita Jr. cover. Pretty fun cover. Uh, Illuminati number one. Fall the Hulks number one. Black Panther number three. The J. Scott Campbell, Shuri Black Panther covers are pretty cool. Uh, number five, number eight, number 18, uh, Daredevil 159, that's the second Frank Miller, Daredevil, those are super cool, couple copies of that, Newsstand and Direct, uh, Daredevil 160, so some really good Daredevils in here too, 169, 188, I love this era of Daredevils, 189, 190, uh, 270, 81. That one looks in pretty decent shape. Uh, Marble Spotlight, number six. This is like second or third Star Lord appearance, I think. And oh, this one was super cool too. So I missed this one, but again, for four dollars each, I got another George Perez signed issue by, and I'm not sure who that is, but uh, yeah, more George Perez signatures, four bucks. So, yeah, some stuff like that. No, these are all good, actually. So, yeah, there's some stuff that was cheaper, but then there's stuff like this that's absolutely amazing. All right, I'll move these to the side. Okay, let's see what we got. We got uh, another George Perez autograph. So, another George Perez for four bucks. Amazing. Absolutely love that. And another one for four bucks. Amazing. I love that. Like, even though it's a duplicate, I don't even know if I want to sell those or not. Because those are just so freaking cool. Even though it's a duplicate. Uh, Alright, Batman 619. I don't know if it's a variant or not. I don't really recognize that cover. I don't think I've seen that one much. 
Uh, Batman number one. This is the B variant, I believe. So that's a pretty cool key issue. Uh, Batman number two. The first cameo, Damian Way. Batman 655. That's a cool key issue. Uh, Batman tells Superman to F off. That's cool. Batman Outsiders number one. Uh, Detective 850. Absolutely love this cover. Hey, Nerdscape. Uh, oh, a couple copies of that. Uh, Identity Crisis number one. Fourth print. That's a fun variant to that. Number one. Teen Titans Annual number one. So this is the first issue where it's like a dollar. So paying $4 is a little bit high on that. And there's a couple issues like that. Uh, Superman, Batman number eight. I believe this is when, um, Kara Zor-El returns because she died in the 80s. And then this is the issue she comes back. So this one has a little bit of value to it. Okay, another stack. Uh, oh yeah, number eight. This is the third print variant. That's cool. I actually don't know if I had that version of that issue. Uh, number 22, the Batman Beyond cameo. Harley Quinn, DC Comics Presents, number one. Batman 713. The Platinum Edition of Superman 75, Death of Superman. Uh, Final Crisis, number seven. I think that's uh, the first black Superman, if I want to correctly guess or incorrectly guess maybe nightwing 78 that's cool i do want to work on that series uh teen titans number three teen titans number four teen titans number nine i do love this run with all the cool george perez covers number 10 number 23 is the first black fire that's a great issue uh vigilante number one i almost grabbed these for a higher price but four dollars yeah i'll take those absolutely love hoarding onto those Okay, Jason, sleep well. Uh, Batman and Robin 23. Ah, I'm not sure if that was a variant or not. Uh, Teen Titans Annual number one. Okay, so far, so cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, got another stack right here. Okay, let's see. Uh... 1985, number one. Amazing Spider-Man, 243. Oh, I gotta move this back a little bit. Uh, Venom, Dark Origin, number one. Number three. Uh, another one of these Marvel annuals. These have really awesome covers. I love those. Uh, West Coast Avengers, one. Avengers Annual, number eight. Saga, number three. Saga, number five. Saga number six. Saga is one of my all-time favorite comics. Uh, saga number seven, number 11, number 12, number 13, number 14. Uh, first Hellhound, first Thory Hellhound. Journey Mystery 632. Uh, really cool Beta Ray Bill cover. Uh, Walter Simonson, 338. First Stormbreaker, 339. New Mutants, number one. This is another issue I like to hoard. Uh, Marvel Spotlight on Captain Marvel, number one. Uh, Marvel Spotlight on Captain Universe. First, Mr. E. Uh, Marvel 2 and 1. He's got that as the second Spider-Woman. Uh, Gen 13, number one. Spawn, number nine. This is an issue you see all the time. But it's a cool key issue. But It's just really common. Two and... Three copies of those. Three copies. Okay, and then we got Star Wars Shattered Empire blank cover. That's super fun. We got Star Wars number four. Uh, I don't know if that's a variant or not. We have this really awesome Mark Brooks Star Wars number 14. Love that one. That one's awesome. Uh, Lady Death cover, foil cover, a couple of those. Uh, Alpha Flight number one, another book I like to hoard on to. I probably won't sell these for a long time. Alpha Flight number one, uh, Thor 339, awesome Walter Simonson cover. Uh, more Alpha Flight number one, more Thor 339. Oh, he had a bunch of these. So these will be easy for me to stick in my shop. <laughs> I don't need this many copies. One copy is fine. Those I'll hold on to, though. 
Okay, so that's everything in that box. That box. Oh, hey, Will. So that box is 400. I think I got a pretty good deal on that. And that box, I mostly bought the cell. Because I think I had a lot of Willows in it. Okay, what do I want to go through next? Here we go. I'm going to move this forward for one second. Move this. Okay, I got more old stuff from Mike and Eric. We'll go through these. So I think this was the four to ten dollar pile. Four to ten dollars, I believe. Okay, here we go. Let's go back. Yeah, I did. I bought way too much stuff. Uh I paid I don't know, I spent Maybe two grand today on comics. <laughs> I spent a lot on comics today. Uh, okay, we have Tomahawk 114. So with the Tomahawks, what I was doing was I kind of wanted to pay $3 a piece on them. So I sorted a few into the $4 pile and a few into the $2 pile. So I don't remember if this is the $2 pile or the $4 pile. But these are pretty cool, actually. Tomahawk 126. Oops, I got to move back a little bit more. Okay, there we go. I think you can see. And uh, this light, I got to push back because this light is not so good at the moment. Push these back. Oh, push that back. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh. All right, I need to bag and board these because without the board, they get so floppy. So floppy. Okay. 126. 127. 114. So I do have some duplicates on that. Uh, Superman Annual number seven. Challengers at the Unknown number 45. In decent shape. That staples pop, but other than that, it's in decent shape. Uh, action 331. Action 411. Uh, Francis or Dell four color 698. Uh, Boy Comics number 117. Another cool Charles Bureau cover. Uh, Cowboy Western Comics, number 26. Uh, Mr. District Attorney, number 65. This one is absolutely falling apart, but uh, I still paid $4 for it, because why not? It's a nice golden age book. Uh, let's see. Movie Love, number 14. Uh, Mouse Musketeers. Don't know the number on that. So I don't think these are Dell 4 colors. I think they're their own series, but these are super fun. Really, oh, really like these. I think those are cool. Uh, Bugs Bunny, Tweety and Sylvester, New Funny. So all these, I think they're their own series and not Del Four Colors. Porky Pig, uh, Spaceman. That cover is awesome. Love that cover. Uh, Heroic Comics number forty six. I kind of want to collect more of these. I kind of like the painty covers. Uh, Detective two forty four. Uh, not in the best shape, but for four bucks. You know, that's a great price on that. And then the Adam number 23. I believe that one was four as well. Okay, let me move these out of the way. Wow, these are so floppy over here. It's kind of hard to uh, go through them without the bags and boards. Uh, I'm going to actually, I'm going to see if I can go to widescreen because I'm having a hard time. Yeah, I think this will work a little bit better. Hopefully. Okay. Oops, let me, okay. I think that will do. Okay, more of these. We got uh oh that seems a little bit off, doesn't it? Okay. Alright, give me a second. I just want to adjust the camera. I'm not happy with this angle. Okay, got that. Oh, come on, open up, open up. There we go. Alright, tripod is better. Okay, I think that looks better. Okay, we got Hop Along Cassidy 116. Really fun Golden Age book. We have uh, the Atom 26. I'm going to move over a little bit. The Atom 33. Uh, Black Hawk 183. They also came out of the woodwork with Black Hawk after I said I want the Black Hawk. <laughs> so much Black Hawk lately. Uh, 243. Superboy 131, Superman 127, really rough, but still a cool 10 cent Superman. 
Superman 174, Son of Tomahawk 137, Joe Kubert cover, Tomahawk 118, The Atom number 5, The Atom number 6, The Atom number 35, The Atom number 36. These are cool. Alarming Adventures number 3, The Atom number 18, The Atom 21. The Adam 27, the Adam 30. Okay, those are super cool. And then there's a divider here, so I think... Oh, th so those are all $4 ones. I misspoke. Those are the $4 ones. Or no, maybe maybe $3? I forget. Because I think this is the more expensive stack. Okay, so we have Bob Hope number 89. Really do love the... Uh, uh, oh, we have Bob Hope 89. Do love the Bob Hope stuff. That's super cool. Really happy with that. This cover is really cool. I love this one. Blackhawk 151. Pretty decent shape. I think we looked it up and it's the first time she gets superpowers. So sort of like a key issue. Uh, Blackhawk 94. That's an amazing cover. Really love just the coloring and the whole composition of that one. That one is fantastic. Uh, Blackhawk 107. I think these are the issues with Torchy in it as well. I gotta look inside one of these. No, maybe that's Modern Comics. I just want to look at the inside of this. Just see what the artwork looks like. Okay, one quick look inside. Oh, yeah. This artwork looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, so this is all Blackhawk stories. I thought... She looks kind of like the Baroness. Oh, that cover... Oh, no, the back cover is damaged. I didn't realize the back cover was so damaged. All right. Not the end of the world. But, uh, yeah, that cover looks gorgeous, though. This is a really awesome-looking issue. But I might have to upgrade it. Okay. That one, I overpaid because the back cover is damaged. It's okay, though. Uh, Blackhawk 128. Blackhawk 134. Blackhawk 154. Wow, that cover is awesome, too. I love the sci-fi... Uh, like, I don't know. There's just something amazing about them. Uh, Mr. District Attorney, 41. Number 25. Uh, Three-Dimension Comics. I don't know the number on this, but I think this is the second or third different issue I have from that series. Uh, Lois Lane, number 90. Superman, 153. Uh, okay, we're back to the cheaper ones. I think these are more of the $2 books, I want to say. Superman 128, uh, Superman 139, awesome 10 cent Superman, Superman 156, Superman 179, oh, these are so floppy, I need bags and boards for all of them, I'm gonna put these up top, oh, they keep falling apart, okay, Superman 159, and this one, the cover is falling apart, so I'm gonna just put it to the side, uh, giant size Superman 202, Really fun Bizarro cover. Love that one. Uh, Superman 170. Wonder Woman 137. Uh, Son of Tomahawk number 131. Tomahawk number 119. Awesome cover. Uh, Tomahawk 100. Those are cool. All right, man. We got a lot of Silver Age today. Tomahawk 121. Tomahawk 116, Tomahawk 87, Tomahawk 124, Tomahawk 113, Tomahawk 86, Doom Patrol 87. I love the old school Doom Patrol a ton. Doom Patrol 88, Doom Patrol 90, Superboy 136, Superboy 130. Got another stack here. So yeah, I think I mixed these up a little bit. Uh, I believe these are still $2 ones, though. Superboy, $144, $140, $137, uh, Superman, $140, an awesome Bizarro cover. Not in the best shape, but still a cool 10-cent Superman. Uh, Superman, $157, Superman, $167, Blackhawk, $192, Superman, $165, Superman, $167, Blackhawk 242, Doom Patrol 97, Tomahawk 93, 
uh, Tomahawk 109, Blackhawk 168, and Blackhawk 172. Okay, lots of really cool comics in that stack. We'll move over the stacks up top, though, so they're not floppy. Okay, we got some more Silver Age Blackhawk. We have Blackhawk uh, 193, 203, 202, 201, 208, 223, 230, 238, Adam 34, uh, Adam number 9, Adam number 11, uh, Adam number 13, Adam 17, Adam 20, these are cool, Adam 22, Adam 28, Adam 24, Adam 25, uh, Adam 31, D-Day number 6, Cool War issue, Green Lantern 64. Okay, lots of Silver Age. I think those were... Uh, I can't remember. Those are either the 2 or $4 ones. Oh, okay, so that was everything in that box. All right, let me see what we have next. Uh, okay, I have a long box I bought from Kyle for, uh, oh, 80 bucks, I think. I didn't even look in this box. I just, he had the box. He said it was uh, 50 cents a book. And then he's like, Sean, you wanna buy the whole box? And so we calculated how many we thought were in there, maybe about 200. And so I thought, oh, maybe 80 bucks is like, sure. So I think, yeah, so I don't even know what's in the box. I did a really, really quick look. I think it's a lot of new 52, so just nothing really exciting, but for uh, 40 cents a piece, it's not bad. Oh, hello, Black Phoenix. That's all right. As long as you're watching the video, I appreciate it. So I'm just going to go through these quick because I don't know if there's anything too exciting. It's a lot of new 52 stuff. Uh, Batman and Robin Lego issues kind of cool. Aquaman, Aquaman. Yeah, I mean, none of this stuff is super uh, pricey. Art is okay. But I guess I'm filling in my collection cheap. <laughs> or I'm filling up a dollar bin somewhere. Aquaman 20, 21, 22. And uh, the Black Manta. Okay. I think there's only a few of these that are not bagged and boarded. Okay, we got some Batman. The Batman issues are actually pretty good. Because these I think I can sell for two or three bucks in the shop. Uh, 667, 672, 678, uh, 679. These have some great covers. These painted covers are fantastic. 681, 690, 695. I don't know if any of these are key issue, but these are all cool. Uh, New 52 Batmans are pretty good. So yeah, I must have seen a section with a lot of these and that made me want to buy these. Batman Beyond is pretty good too. Those are cool. Okay. So I'm going to move these. I gotta figure out how to get through the box faster and easier. A lot of stuff in here. Got a divider. Okay, Batman Beyond. Six, seven, eight, nine. These are actually pretty cool. I don't think I have a lot from this series, so I'm actually happy to see those. Uh, I believe this is an Adam Hughes cover, the Batgirl. These are gorgeous covers. Do love this run with those covers. Batgirl 9, 10. 14, that's an awesome cover too. 15, 16. Uh, I don't know if any of these are variants or not. I think they're all the regular covers. Batgirl Annual, Batman Eternal, number three, number four, number five, number six. Okay, these. Uh, this box is not as exciting as the first bunch of boxes. So I... Um, 
You know, I think I'm going to just adjust so we can look through the box above the box so we can get through this quicker. Because this box is not as exciting for me. So let's go like this. Okay, we'll go like this. We'll go down like this. Okay. So I'm just going to pull out what we went through already and just go through this box real quick. Okay, Batman Eternal 7... Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Batman Robin one annual, Batman Robin two, three, four. Can I go back to right there? Yeah, that's better. Six. Oops, I gotta go back here just a little bit. Okay, give me one second. I'm adjusting again. <laughs> Okay, uh, number six, number seven, number eight. Let me try that. Number nine, number ten. I actually think I need a few of these for my run. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, Batman Incorporated, number one, uh, number two, number eight. I think this one has a little bit of value to it, a little bit more than a dollar or two. The Raza Al Ghul one, the Killer Croc one, Joker's Daughter, Batman and Robin Zero. Okay, I'm gonna push these forward a little bit so we can see. Zero. Uh, Batman and Robin Two, the Frank Quietly covers. Those are cool. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven, there's a couple copies of that. Number nine, number 10, number 11, number 12, number 14, number 16, number 17, number 18, Batman and Robin 19, number 20, 23, 24, 26. I don't know. Are you guys enjoying this part? <laughs> uh, 850. Oh, did Alright, so we got some cool detectives, though. 851. 856. The painted covers are really cool in those. Uh, 858. 865. Alright, I gotta readjust a little bit. 868. I actually might need some of this run, so this is actually pretty good. Uh, New 52, Detective 3. Number 6. Number seven, number 10, number 13, number 15, number 20, number 21, number 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, number 40, 41, 42, 44, Earth 2, number 12, Earth 2, number 13, number 14, number 15, number 16, number 17, number 18, 20, 21. All right, the Earth 2s aren't as exciting for me. Uh, oh, we have some cool Flash, though. We have Flash uh, number 2. I think that one has a little bit of value. I'll move these up again. Readjust for the box. Uh, flash 4. Yeah, I can always use Flash. So if I don't have them, I'm super thrilled to fill in my collection. But if I do have them, these are easily 2 to $3 books in the shop. They'll sell really easily. 21. Number 23, number 31, 
number 32. I actually, I should, with the Flash movie coming out soon, I really should sort out my Flash collection and pull out all the duplicates for the shop. 34, 36, 37, 39, 40, 42, 45. Okay, I've got to readjust these a little bit. Uh, 46, 47, 48. Uh, flash 49, 50, 51, 52. Actually, I don't think I have a lot of the higher numbers, so that's kind of cool. Green Lantern 5. These are kind of hard to sell for me. Green Lanterns kind of stick around for months, if not years. So I don't really get too excited for Green Lanterns, although I think this one has some value. I'm pretty sure that one has some value to it. Uh, Green Lantern, 31, 32, 33, 48. Oh, Red Lanterns, these are cool. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, this is making my shoulders hurt. <laughs> 21, 22, 23. All right, I'm going to move closer. All right. A little bit closer. Okay. Uh, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30. Oh, that blue cat's kind of fun. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Uh, Randanger War. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. OMAC 2. Wow, this box is kind of tedious. <laughs> Very long day for me. Uh, uh. Oh, 50 bucks each for five? Yeah, I'd pay $50 for a Bronze Age long box. That would be amazing. OMAC project. And then they probably complained about how difficult it is to price it out. Uh, high number Robin, 175. That's actually pretty good. These high numbers are kind of rare and hard to get. Superman 1. Oh, this is another reason why I bought the boxes. He had a bunch of these Superman Batmans with the cool Michael Turner covers. I really like this run. I need to finish it. I'm not sure what I still need. But I figure 40 cents a piece on these are great. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ooh, my shoulder is starting to hurt. I'm going to go on the other side. Oh, hey, Big B. How are you? Okay, where are, where are we? 20. Oh, I think we were at... Okay. I gotta readjust one more time on this box. 28. 29. 30. 31. 32. 33. Uh, yeah, I think some of these in the 30s and up I do need. 36. 37, uh, Simon Dark 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I'm not familiar with this series, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, I'm going to start stop reading the numbers. My uh my throat's getting tired. Oh, some zeros. These are cool. Those ones have a little bit of value. Oh, sweet. A Zatanna number two? I think that one probably has a little bit of value with the unwritten number one. Oh, Harley Quinn. That's fun. Got a little bit of better stuff in the back here. Batman Odyssey. Batman Annual 2. Day Tripper 1. Cool cover. Supergirl 2. Supergirl 26. Supergirl 27, Supergirl 28, a couple copies of that, 
33. Comics, 7. Blackest Night. Deathstroke, 15. Earth 2, 11. Uh, Batgirl, 17. That's a beautiful cover. Uh, Batman Arkham Unhinged, 20. Batman Dark Knight Rises, 2. Alright, and then one last stack here. One last handful to go through. Ooh, this kind of hurts. Bending over long boxes, it, it's painful. I don't like long boxes at all. I need to get these into short boxes. It's so hard to deal. Oh, Solomon Grundy, that's neat. It's really hard to deal with long boxes. I feel like long boxes are just... Uh, the older you get, the more you realize you need short boxes, not long boxes. All right, Batman and Outsider. Batman, Black Knight, Riddler. Here are the villain. Nightwing vs. Hush. Uh, Detective 23, Scarecrow, Man Bat. And Detective Zero, Detective 27, Free Comic Book Day. The Batman Rama Annual, Batwoman 15. Sinestro 7, uh, New 52 Futures, and Omega Men, number one. Oh, a couple copies of that. I wonder if that's undervalued. Uh, Thunderbolt 60, Vigilante number three. Oh, more Vigilante, more Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts 9, 10, 11, Vigilante 1, and... Oh, and another Omega Men 1. Okay. Oof, that was, uh... I mean, for 80 bucks, not a bad deal for that box. Not like the greatest box or anything, but I'm happy enough with it. And I'm, you know, I also like buying from friends when they need to clear out a bunch of comics. I'm okay buying a box like this. Helps them out, and I have something fun to do. Okay, let me get these back in the box, though. Okay, let's see. Are we back? Yeah. Uh, my uh, my cell service keeps going in and out. It's kind of frustrating. I don't know if I just used it too much. I might have just used it. Okay, we're going to go back to this mode. And we're going to go down. And then we, I have one more box that Kyle just actually threw in after I bought the long box and the other ones. And then he's just like, here you go. Here's a free box. So I don't even know what's in this box. Uh, oh, Flash. Okay, Flash is good. Honestly, I, you know, I like having Flash because I like the Flash, but it's also easy to sell. So we got some Flash. Uh, Dark Knights, Master Race. Oh, Teen Titans. Okay, that's cool. Detective Comics. All right, so these are solid dollar. I mean, I'll probably get two or three dollars out of them. They're actually pretty solid books. Uh, Merlin Realm in 3D. That's interesting looking. Uh, Wildstorm, Detective, Detective, Watson and Holmes. All right, so there's a lot of Batman here, which is good. Batman is not as good as Spider-Man for my shop, but Batman is still top three seller. Mega Man number seven, that's cool. More Detective, a lot more Detective. Wildcats, eight. More Detective. Okay, a bunch more of that. Duplicates. Okay, we're pretty high on the duplicates in this box. Grab another stack here. Yeah, he just brought in a... Actually, he brought them into my shop. Like, I bought them at the show, and then he delivered them. And then he's like, here's a free extra box. Uh, Valkyrie number one. That's cool. Oh, we got some old Vampirellas. That's fun. So, Vampirella 11, 17, 16, 15, 13... Uh, 18, Legion Monsters, Satana, number one, uh, Batman Gotham Knights, Vampirella, 12, uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, that's cool, okay, another stack, here, I'm gonna try to put this back in the box without it flopping, I need a divider here. Let's see what we got. We got Sovereign 7, number 3, oh, a couple copies of that. Omega Man, number 2, three copies of that, four copies of that. All right, we're getting the duplicates now. Omega Man, four, three copies of that. Omega Man, six. 
All right, well, those will be easy to sort to sell because the duplicates are already here. <laughs> 1931, number 23, number 26, number 12, and number 11. Okay, lots of stuff. Oh, this looks like a very Omega Man heavy box. Interesting. Interesting. I've never read the Omega Man. I wonder if it's a good read or not. Uh, uh, so Mike and Eric, last month, they for 50 cents, they threw in the first Detective Chimp. In bad shape, but probably still worth like a couple hundred bucks. So I would say that's technically probably my best dollar bin find at current value. I found at least 10 copies Ultimate Fallout 4 for a dollar, but that's back when it was worth a dollar. But I kept them. So I so technically I've found like a thousand dollar book for a dollar, but it wasn't worth a thousand. I just thought it would be worth something one day, so I held on to it. Uh yeah. Rex the Wonder Dog, exactly. Omega Man number one. Uh terrorist. Azrael. Alright, I'm just gonna kinda of blast through these. DC Nation. Uh Atlantis Chronicles. New America. I do like the good 80s uh, indie stuff. Uh, City of Walls, Hawkman 2, Hawkman 7. So I have, oh, Bloodlines. I bought 27 boxes from Eric and Mike of just all the cheap stuff that they had for a dollar. Whatever was left over, I bought really cheap. Uh, I kind of want to do a video. I don't know if I want to, sh like, show every video, but I might set it up where when I'm doing my actual sort... So you can guys can just hang out as I'm actually sorting books. I might not actually like you know read every title, but more just show you as I sort and just talk about something other than what's on. That's a cool Darwin Cook cover. Oh wow, that's a cool book in there. You do you guys know what this is? This is the first appearance of Concrete. Oh wow, that's a good ten dollar book maybe. All right, I'm gonna say because Concrete's one of my all time favorite characters, so that's fun to find in a. a box like that all right tina, well, tina you hang out with me whatever i do so i know you'll be there i know you would enjoy it and i appreciate that that's awesome of you okay what do we got we got batman 668 670 499 thunderbolts one cool cover strange uh yeah, it's a first Dark Horse con. It's like a quadruple. It's also the first appearance of someone else. It's like a quadruple key. No, I, there's no Omega Man 3 in there. He pulled those out already. I'm sure of it. I'm sure he pulled those out. Uh, Thunderbolt 7. All right, this is uh, Batman Final. I mean, still, he threw this in for free. So every single book here, like, these are pretty decent books for free. You know, I can't complain. There's no complaining going on with this stuff. You know, I might not have Omega Man 3. One of my favorite key issues, but... It has eight copies of one. <laughs> oh my God. Square that up. Where's my divider? Right, I know I put a divider in this, but I don't know where I put it. Divider, divider, divider. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it there. Okay. Right. Okay, one more stack in that box. And then we're done with the stuff from Tay, other than the uh, the big bulk of stuff I got. All right. Captain America Bucky, number 625. Detective. Fantastic Four. Oh, that's a nice cover. Some gold. A uh, Millennium 2 is a minor key? Okay, I'll pull that out in a second. Hawkeye 1. Yeah, I, ha I have Omega Man 3. I probably have t 5 to 10 copies of it. Maybe more. I have no idea. I've been picking those up for like 10 bucks or less for years. Uh, first appearance of Lobo. I think it's just a, um undervalued key. I really think that's way undervalued, honestly. I and mean, if people are willing to pay, you know, hundreds of dollars for the first appearance of Deadpool, I think one day people will be paying hundreds of dollars for the first appearance of Lobo. I'm sure of it. A Shade the Changing Man. These are fun. Really like the covers on these. 48, 47. 
I mean, I honestly, I probably have a full run or ten of the Mega Man series. So I probably have it. I'm, in fact, most of the stuff I probably have already. But I'm just really, really... So you know what it is? When I sort my collection, I try to sort the stuff that I know will sell. So I usually... A lot of this stuff just kind of piles up and I don't process it fast enough. But I do want one of each everything in my collection. So I'm not rushing to clear out things. I do want to sort it, but I'm really slow to sort. Okay, so that's everything I picked up today at the event. Um, but I did, you know, they brought a whole bunch of stuff. So I'll probably do a sorting video in the next few days. Uh, what time is it? Oh, we've been at it for an hour, 28 minutes. Are you guys bored or do you want to see more comics? Because I could do, I have some packages I can open up. And I have other things I could process if you guys want to see some more stuff. I mean, there's still four of you guys hanging out. So we can do some more comics. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I have... Oh, th all right. This is from Action City Comics. I don't know if this is this week or last week's purchase. I think that this was this week, actually. This is actually some really good stuff right here. So if you guys don't follow me, every uh, Wednesday on Pop Walks... Um, Indie Key Comics. All right, check it out. No, I can, I'm, I'm going to go until I hit about two hours. So I can do another 30 minutes. So, yeah, if you guys aren't watching me yet, um, oh, okay, okay, that then that's why Millennium is, okay, cool. Okay, sweet, yeah, more books, you guys are awesome. So, yeah, on my Pop Box channel, every Wednesday, I do new comic book day. So, I go to a comic shop, I shop for comics, and this just happens to be the stuff I picked up this week or last week. Tina, do you remember if I picked these up this Wednesday or, uh, I don't remember. But I grabbed some key issues. This one, I think I overpaid a little bit. But I had never seen Bartman 1 in person. I didn't realize I had foil on it. I thought that was cool. I think this is a very undervalued book. You know, the first issue, uh, like really early Simpsons. I think it, it might predate Simpsons 1. I'm not 100% sure. I, I'm, I'm good for late night shows. So if you guys are having fun, I'm going to keep going for at least half an hour or more. Uh, I got Deep Cuts. I think that's issue number one uh danger street someone said to pick this up it's pretty good thank you tina i grabbed the newest saga number 61 grabbed the david nakayama gargoyles uh really awesome dave stevens rocketeer uh adam hughes cover i think that's adam hughes yeah i think that's adam hughes i don't see the ah but it looks like adam hughes to me uh amazing spider-man 26 because of you know the key significance of it uh all right sweet and then i paid 200 bucks for super mario number one i saw a week ago he showed it to me and i um i was like yeah i need to get it so he, he had one other guy the other guy bowed out so he sold it to me it has one little bit of a line right here that could be pressed out and I think it had like that little corner slightly splinted. So it's probably like a new 9294 maybe. 200 bucks felt like a really good price on that. So I'm really happy with that. Oh, and then for uh, Aussie Comic Collector, uh, I went to Eric. I was like, I'll give you a dollar for this book. So he took a dollar for it. So I'm adding Aussie Comic Collector is trying to get 2,099 copies of this book. So every time I see it now for a dollar, I'm picking it up. And I think when I hit about 40 or 50, I'm going to trade with him. Send it to Australia. Uh, okay. So yeah, that was some pretty cool stuff, actually. I love going into the comic shop for new comics and walking away with like a pretty decent key, which I think this is going to become a major key eventually. Any of this video game stuff is going to be worth a small fortune one day. Don't sleep on it. Okay, and then I went to uh, Comic Station that day as well. I picked up uh, Star Spangled War Stories 124. Absolutely love the uh, War That Time Forgot stories with the dinosaurs versus the military. I think these just look so cool. So I've been slowly trying to pick them up. I got a uh, Shinobi Ninja Princess graphic novel for... Ooh, 10 bucks maybe? Um... You're not too sure. It's the first Super Mario comic book. It is The kids love it. I grew up with Super Mario. This is a multi-generational major character. It's not his first appearance. That's a blip number one. 
But this is the equivalent of Amazing Spider-Man number one for video game comics. Print run is pretty low. And, you know, a major movie just came out. It's doing really well. I think long term, this is a book that will start kind of pumping out. I think it's already kind of pumping out. But I, I this is a good book. I w wouldn't mind buying a whole bunch of those. Yeah, The War of the Time for Guys. Such an awesome series of comics. Uh, okay, so, and then he had a couple of um, ElfQuest books that were half price. And I love these. I think these are such cool looking books. Uh, seven bucks a piece. Has beautiful colored art inside. Love the way they look. And I looked on eBay and they're going for like $20 to $30 a book. So $7 felt like a great steal on them. I couldn't remember which ones I had. And so, and I couldn't find where I put them. I like for seven dollars, I figure I'll grab them. If they're a duplicate, I can turn the seven into 25. So I'm okay with it. I don't mind buying duplicates if the price is really good. You think 150 tops? Nah, this is this is already selling for 250 right now. I think two 250. There's a few that are in like very fine minus that went for 150. And but then the nine four nine sixes are going for real 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 high. Uh and then these are yeah, that's the thing. When he so he first got this, he told me he wanted 250. So I was like, 250 fell high. I looked and uh, I did see some going for like 150, but when I looked at the 150s, they have like a big crease here or like a little stain here or like a big chunk. This one is pretty valuable. Uh, unbeatable Squirrel Girl number one. That's not too bad. I mean, it's not like a super high valuable book, but uh, it's still cool. Super cool. You keep hunting. You keep finding stuff. That's just the way of comics. You get out there, you'll find things. Uh, okay, what else did I get? Oh, okay, and then also from the dollar bin at uh, Comic Station, I bought a whole stack of stuff. So we'll go through those. I got this Voltron uh, Panini sticker album book. Oh, and it has stickers in it. I didn't even look inside. Oh, it has a bunch of the stickers. Oh, wow. That makes it way more valuable than I thought. What a score for a dollar. That is a great dollar find. I love Voltron. Voltron is one of my all-time favorite. Okay, that is really cool. Okay, um, I gotta try to grab these. Okay, we got a uh, Wild Guard Firepower One. Uh, some of the stuff I just grabbed because I think the covers are fun. Elf Quest Fourteen, uh, Archangel Something Two. Like, I don't know what these are, but sometimes I'll buy weird stuff for a dollar just because I've never seen it before. I'm like, all right, that's cool. When will I see this again? You know, that kind of feeling. And then, oh, and then he had a whole stack of Cerebus I grabbed. I didn't think I had too many around this, so I might have grabbed a few duplicates I, I didn't need. But when I'm grabbing from the dollar bin, I just sometimes I just grab and I don't think about it because I know what for a dollar I can probably get my dollar back if I accidentally buy a duplicate. So I'm not too worried about it. I'd rather grab, over grab, and then have to sell some stuff, then miss something, and then regret that I didn't pick it up. Uh, let's see, service, 173. Super cool, 174. 170. Yeah, I was pretty sure I didn't have too many of these 170s here. 178, 180, 177, 180. Oh, I skipped one. 176, 176. 181, 183, 189, 195, 196, 133, 136, 135, 136, 139, uh, Rat Queens, number two, the B cover. Okay, let's squeeze these to the side here. And, uh, okay. Okay. and uh, just a bunch more Cerebus. I do really like the covers because they're just a little bit different and interesting. Like the way this one is drawn is gorgeous to me. 143, 144, 145, 146. 148, 149, 
150, 151. Love that cover. I love a good library cover. Uh, 153. Man, that cover's bloody. Uh, yeah, Rat Queens. I mean, uh, Street Candy Pirate Adventures. Oh, it's it's pretty violent in there. It's pretty violent looking. Okay, I'm not gonna show too much. Uh, 154, 155. Love that cover. Like all these covers are gorgeous to me. 159. They're just simple, but uh, I do. I have the um. Well, I have the one A, but also two years ago or a year and a half ago, I bought the whole video game box set with the the statue, the game, and the steel book, and the little mini one C or whatever as well. So I had the rare version, and I have, I think I have both the A and B cover for one as well, or the second. I don't know if it's a second printing or a B cover. I forget. Maybe there's just one cover. I don't remember. I just know that I have the one that came in the box set, and I have a regular one. And I might have more than one of those. Because it just is something... I always pick up video game stuff. And The Last of Us is a great series. So every time I saw it, I would grab it. Whatever issue I saw. Uh, 160. And those are all... Not the game set, but the regular issue is a dollar bin find. 162. 163. 164. 165. 157. I know a lot of people just enjoy me reading numbers. It's like an ASMR thing. Oh, this has a little bit of sticky on it. No. Oh, man. I hate when... Oh, okay, I don't know what's going on. There's like some kind of crud on there. I don't know what that's from. I'm going to just put those to the side. Uh, 156. What I need to do is record myself counting to like 10,000 and just do it once and then just have that to play randomly over comic books. <laughs> well, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Is that what I need to do? I just need to count to 10,000 one day and then just randomly show comic books and use the same soundtrack. <laughs> 166, 167, 168. Oh, I love the color on this one, like that pale blue. Oh, yeah, and I always like the uh, interior artwork, too. There's just something about the quality of the the line work is gorgeous. Uh, 169, 170. Okay, those are awesome. Okay, so that was uh, the comics. I think I picked those up this week. I Or maybe last week. I Actually, no, that was last week. I have another box from this week, which uh, I have at the store. I gotta get it. I don't have it. I'll do that for the next time. Yeah, I buy any video game related comic I see. Anything from a major game, whether it's Zelda, God of War, any of that kind of stuff. I think it's worth buying them. Because they become multi-generational and it's the kind of thing that kids are into today. So what it means is in 10, 20 years when those kids grow up. You know, it'll be more people and demanding that stuff. I mean, we grew up, or I grew up with Mario, so I'm like, uh, yeah, that was last week. I think I have another box from this week, but that I think I left at the shop. So I'm going to set up. I'll have another haul tomorrow, most likely. I also have to do my Five Points toy haul. I had so much fun at Five Points. Five Points is my favorite convention of the year. I wish I could buy art toys like that all the time, but it's expensive. Hey, John. Yeah. I meant I was trying to start at eight, but then my record guy's like, "Oh, I gotta drop stuff off." So I'm like, "All right, I gotta, I gotta make money some days." So I didn't get started till ten. I'm gonna go for another twenty minutes, I think. I have a few more. Well, I might not have twenty minutes worth of stuff. We're gonna try to do twenty minutes. Okay. Oh, so this is a whatnot order. This was. Oh, who is this? Uh, oh, uh, Nerd Pharmaceuticals. Okay. So, what I've been doing a lot with Nerd Pharmaceuticals lately is he does really good buyer appreciation buys. So, I've been buying... Trying to do one item a night. If I... Like, I missed the last two nights. I've been too busy. Oh, sweet. Um, okay, yeah. So, I bought... Alright, this is funny. So, I bought this cute... Thick Vampirella issue. I like that one. I thought it was really cute. I wanted it. And I paid $20 plus shipping. So I think it was like $24 and change. Uh, but I only bought it 
so that I could get into the buyer appreciation giveaways. Um, the buyer appreciation giveaways, he does like six a night. So I paid 24 for that. That's the regular price. This is their exclusive. And then I won the same exact book. So I'll be able to sell one and get my money back. So I broke even. And then I won um, this amazing Cosmic Ghost Rider Virgin Variant Pride. Another like $20 book. So another buyer giveaway I won. And then I won... Uh... Oh, and then I bought this for, I think, $4? So we got Alien number 2 variant edition. And, uh... I'm looking at my invoice. I'm trying to see if I see the price on here. Okay, yeah, it says I bought one comic for 4 bucks and one for 5 So I think this is the $4 one. I thought $4 was... At that point, I had free shipping, so I was like, why not? And then I, uh, I bought... This for $5, which I just bought today. So I actually have a duplicate of that. I forgot I had bought it there. And then after that, I won the uh, Nathan Zerdy Psylocke one for free. So basically, I spent four $8. I won a $20 book. And then I spent $24. I won two, like, $20, $24. Amazing. So every night, I'm just trying to buy one of the books I want from their shop. So I can enter the buyer's giveaway. And I've been having a lot of luck with that. I think it's... Like right now and whatnot, it's kind of slow. So if you have any vendors that are doing buyer giveaways regularly, it's kind of worth buying a book or two to have a really high chance of winning the way better books. Which is awesome. I feel like I'm doing really good with them. I think I did the three or four nights in a row that I bought from them. I won the buyer giveaways. So I have more packages of theirs on the way, I believe. Uh, okay, this is a Spider-Man booth. So I've been holding back. I haven't been buying too much Spider-Man booth mystery boxes lately just because I have so much of what they're already, you know, what they're selling. But I saw that they had some new um, Ninja Funk covers, and I wanted to catch up and get some of the newer stuff. So this is just from a few days ago, I think. Oh, thank you, Big V. But yeah, I right now is a fantastic time. If you see vendors that do regularly buyers giveaway, like Nerd Pharmaceuticals, it's worth buying a book. They have a lot of books that are five bucks. Spend five bucks, get a chance to win a you know twenty dollar book, really high chance. Because usually there's only like eight people in the buyer giveaway, and they do six. So if they do eight buyer giveaways, I mean if they do six buyer giveaways and only eight people are entering them, you have like a eighty percent chance of winning almost every time. All right, you know, one out of the six every time. Uh, okay, I gotta remember what I paid for all of these. I don't... I'm looking for the invoice, if I can find it. Yeah, so I think I ended up paying... Let's see, it says I paid 46 40 53 and 54 And shipping was 8 on total of that. So I probably ended up paying about $55 a pack, which felt a little bit high... Uh, but I was really, I was trying my best. So I bought, let's see, pack 20. I didn't quite feel like I had my radar going. Uh, but was there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books for like, five, so like $7 a book is a little bit high. Excalibur number one. Uh, this one's fun though. Lobo's Amazing Spider-Man. But they are all store variants. So retail is like 15 on them. $10 on sale. So I pretty much paid on sale retail on these. Thor number seven. Uh, Kill New Hellion 7. Love that cover. Gorgeous cover. Predator 1. Uh, Witchblade 116. This one I think is just a regular cover. So that one isn't worth the seven. And uh, I Make Boys Cry number two. This one is signed by Benny Powell. So yeah, that was a weaker pack. Uh, but the main thing is I was just trying to... I was buying packs... Until I hit a ceiling pack. And it was... Uh, I think they had 50 packs. No, they had 100 packs with 4 ceilings. So it was like a 1 in 25. So I tried my best to beat the odds. So this one was a all-virgin pack. So this was actually a better value pack. So we have the David Nakayama... Um, I don't know what comic that is, honestly. Cute cover, though. 
That one for $7 is actually a really good price. The uh, John Boy White Widow signed by Benny Powell. $7 is actually a pretty good price on that as well, I believe. Uh, a couple more fun White Widow covers. I think those are all really cool White Widow. So that pack felt like a little bit of a better pack. And I am trying to work on the White Widow books at the moment. But that's not what I was trying to buy. So we let's do one more mediocre pack. And then we'll get to the... Yeah, one more mediocre pack. So if I was just hitting the mediocre packs, I probably would have quit. Or, uh, you know, wouldn't have tried so hard. Number nine... Uh, Wolverine number 22, Thor number 9, Punchline, Blank Variant, that's actually pretty cool. Amazing Spider-Man 47, uh, DC Comics Presents 22, that felt like a little bit of a weaker book. And a Ninja Funk uh, number 1, signed by uh, Alex Rigel and JPG. Okay, so another kind of mediocre pack. So those are the weaker packs, but then I did hit the ceiling pack. So the ceiling pack is really what I was going for. And I think the value, so I paid about $200 for everything. So the value really is here. The $200 isn't here. Everything else is free, pretty much. So we have a White Widow 2. Really fun lenticular. Really awesome book. Uh, White Widow number 7. Another fun lenticular. I was basically trying to win, you know, I love winning their ceiling packs because it's always fun stuff like this. Kind of rare, expensive stuff. Uh, a Virgin White Widow. And all these are signed... Uh, David Nakayama, this one's not signed. This is just a um, Virgin variant, but easy $20 book. Tyler Kirkham Venom cover, that's awesome. Again, easy $20 book, a Thor Virgin variant. Uh, so this is what I was looking for. I was looking for the new Ninja Funk rare books. So Ninja Funk, uh, not sure the number, but I didn't have that one yet. Uh, Wolfgang 3, so another um, Wolverine homage, love that. Frank Miller, the 300, number one. And Astrobots number one, and then uh, Wayward Legends number two. So yeah, after I won those, I realized the ceiling packs were kind of weaker. I, I the value is still here, I think, a little bit weaker. So I stopped at four. I was happy with four. I got the Ninja Funk issues that I wanted, so I was pretty happy with that. Okay, let's go on to the next box. Let's see what else I got. I think I have a few more boxes to go through. Oh, and I have a big, uh, uh, what is it called? A uh, My Comic Shop order. If you guys want me to keep going, I think I can do like 20 minutes of a My Comic Shop order. Uh, okay, this was Lost in Time Toy Store? What comic was this? Oh, yeah, this is the one I've wanted for a while. Just a really fun, good girl art, uh, Golden Age book. So we have Junior Miss number 26. I paid, I think, like... $45 shipped on this one. Uh, really, really cute cover. I like. She looks really cute in her red swimsuit. He looks super funny, being like super nervous. I like the way the uh, you know, the waves look. Just a really fun cover. Now, it does have a couple creases right here. But overall, the condition, you know, the condition is pretty nice for that price. The ones I normally see are really brown or really beat. So I'm actually really happy to finally have that issue. So that was pretty cool. Love getting the old stuff. And then, uh, okay, that's everything I had in that pile. Let me, I have one more pile of packages I gotta open, I believe. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, we still here? We still, everyone is still listening, hanging out? So I do have this big $500 My Comic Shop order. This is stuff... With my comic shop, I let stuff kind of pile up. Like, I'll add stuff to my want list. Or not my want list, but to my actual shopping cart. And then I actually won't buy it until I feel like I have enough to pay for the shipping. And this time, I bought a lot. I went a little crazy. I finally just said, you know what? I'm going to place this order just because it's time and it's getting a little bit big. Okay, I got to get it open. It's still sealed. Did I lose you guys? I don't see any chat. I don't know if the chat is coming in or not. Oh, there we go. We're there. We're there. We're there. Okay. Sometimes it gets a little quiet. I'm like, oh no, did it disconnect? Okay. Hopefully I can figure out the pricing on all this stuff. Hopefully all the pricing. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything too expensive here. But if you like, if you guys ever buy from uh, my comic shop, it's just like you know, this is a pretty big order. <laughs> I don't know how many books that was. Fifty books, maybe. That's crazy. Usually, what I do with my comic shop if it's something I really want that's not too expensive, but I don't want to spend time hunting on eBay or I don't want to pay shipping. I just end up adding it to my uh, my comic shop list. Because sometimes, even if the price is slightly higher, once you figure out uh, the shipping savings and all that, it's better. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're putting stuff in there that is, like, super in demand, some, yeah, it does happen. I don't know. I lose out on some stuff. But a lot of times, I don't want to pay shipping for, like, one book. I want to make sure I'm ordering just a whole pile of stuff. That cycle filled, that would be really cool if you could actually like just pay for it and just have it sit there. Like if they would hold it for you for whatever, like maybe like a month or two. That would actually be really good because I would probably end up buying more stuff. Uh, okay, I forget what I was going crazy for. What is this, 129? <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to see if this is in any kind of order. Batman, 121. Uh, no, this is a, not in any kind of order at all. Okay, so I'm assuming most of the comics I bought were... Like, I, I don't see it easily on here. But I believe a lot of these are ratio variants. Yeah, this is a 1 in 25 ratio. So I think I was buying a lot of the ratio variants if I thought the price was low. Like, under 10 bucks, maybe 5 bucks. I'm trying to find it on my list and then see if it goes in order from there. That would make this easier. But I'm it's skipping around. Oh, there it is. Okay, what do I pay on that one? I paid 10 bucks for that one. So 1 in 25, 10 bucks, pretty cool. Happy with that. Uh we got Avenging Spider-Man number 4. Again, another ratio. Uh hopefully this is right next to each other. Yeah. That one was uh 5 bucks. Five bucks for a, I believe, a 1 in 25. I had to get that. That felt like such a great price on that. Uh, next Gen, or Age of X-Men, Next Gen, number two. This, I believe, is also a 1 in 25. Uh, this one was $9.60. Okay, we got uh, Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duo, number three. This one was $9.99. This, I believe, was also a 1 in 25. I'm pretty sure almost all of these were 1 in 25s. Uh, Avengers 21B. Where are you? Oh, now they're out of order. Oh, no, there it is. This one was two fifty, So $2.50, but it is a 1 in 25. Uh, Avengers vs. X number 9. Avengers. This one was six forty. One 1 in 25, I believe. Uh, Avengers number 44. Like, to me, this is cool because this is a lot of stuff I just never seen or I don't see that often. Avengers number 44. Uh, Avengers 44. Where are you? Oh, man. These are just not in order. It'll make it a lot easier if these were in order. 44. Okay. This one was five bucks. I believe that was a one in 25. That one's super cool. Uh, all new Invaders number 1D. The design variant. Uh, yeah, exactly. Big Bad Toy Store has the loot pile. I wish my comic would do that. That would make this a lot easier. Uh, all new invaders. Where is... Man, these are just not in order, so it takes me forever to find them. All new invaders. This one was 4 bucks For 1 in 25, not bad at all. Uh, a really fun Avengers cover. Avengers 34.2B. Avengers 34. This one was five dollars. Also one in twenty-five, I believe. Uh, Astonishing X-Men number three. Uh, I wish these. I like how the DC ones tell you with the ratio and the artist. This looks like a Paul Pope cover to me, but I don't see his signature, so I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, Astonishing X-Men three. Uh, this one was four dollars and eighty cents for one in twenty-five. That felt like an amazing deal. Uh, all new X-Men number 17. Again, I think this is our ratio variant. 
Uh, this one was 10 bucks. Absolutely love that cover. Gorgeous cover. Armor Wars number one. Uh, this one was four bucks for a one in 25. As you can see, I basically looked up one in 25 and I bought anything that was like $10 or $5. Five to $10, basically. Uh, Arkham Manor number three. Again, a one in 25, I believe. Uh, this one was four bucks. Arkham Manor number two. Four bucks, also a ratio. Uh, this really awesome Warren Liu, Nightwing. Love Warren Liu. I'm trying to collect everything he did. I didn't know he did the Nightwing issue, so when I saw those, I had to have them. I think they're just B variants, though. They're not, um, you know, not ratios. Uh, Nightwing, where are you? Uh, this one was four bucks, so four bucks for a really awesome Warren Liu cover. Amazing. Uh. Avengers vs. X-Men number two. This one, I said it was in fine condition. I actually do not see any major flaws on it. So it looks pretty decent to me. They're really, like... They undergrade very often. So sometimes they'll say it's a fine, and you like, you, like maybe it has, like, one little something going on there. It looks nice to me. I'm happy with that. Uh, Avengers vs. X... What is this? Number two. This one was $2.50. Again, a ratio. Uh, Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duo, number six. Uh, this one was $9.99. I believe that was a one in 25. Uh, really awesome looking Avengers vs. X-Men, number six. This one was $4. I believe that was also a ratio, one in 25. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're all one in 25s because that's what I was looking for. I might have looked for some one in 50s. And, um, yeah, you just have to remember to check out. That is true. And some of the stuff I had on the for a month, so I'm actually surprised that I, you know, I bet there was a few things that got removed that I missed out on, but it's okay. I end up getting a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, this one was four bucks for one in twenty five. That's awesome. Uh, Avenger sixty four. This one was three dollars and ten cents. Uh, I think that's a ratio. Pretty sure it is. Uh, this one just had a beautiful cover. Uh, Kari Andrews issue. This one was uh, deceased. Where are we? Now we're going on to the next page, I think. Next page. Oh, is this 1D? Yeah, this one was three bucks. Three bucks just for a beautiful cover. That's great. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna... All right, that's the first bundle, but I got a whole bunch more bundles to go through. A whole bunch more of it. Bundles. Bundles, bundles, bundles galore. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes I think if it has a small flaw, they'll just make it fine just so they under undergrade it. And then when I buy a fine, half the time it looks like pretty good. It looks like a very fine or better. So I'm happy with their grading. Like, I think they, and they grade, like, their golden age really well. So sometimes you can buy, like, a good that looks very good, basically. So I love buying from them. I think the grading is great. Uh, all new in humans. This is 1B. This one was 4 bucks. Pretty awesome cover. Love that one. Uh, number 1C was 6 bucks. Again, I think these are all 1 in 25s. Astonishing X-Men number one. Uh, this one was $4. Yeah, prices on these are fantastic. Uh, Batman 132. Yeah, this it says 1 in 25 on that cover. Uh, what is it? 132. I gotta find this. This one was 8 bucks, but it's a Derek Chu cover. I love collecting Derek Chu. So Derek Chu 1 in 25 for $8 felt like a steal to me. Uh, Invincible Iron Man number two. Really gorgeous cover. I love that one. This one is uh, six bucks. Batman 128. This was a Ryan Silk cover, one in 25. This one was uh, 10 bucks. Really like that cover. I thought that cover was gorgeous. Avenging Spider Man number one. And this one was 10 bucks, one in 25. I thought that was a really awesome cover. 
Uh, all new X Men number one. I love this like 1960s throwback cover. I thought that one was awesome. Uh, this one was four dollars eighty cents for a one in twenty five ratio. Avengers number two. Again, this one is marked as a fine and like it looks really good. I don't see any flaws on it. Like like maybe the slightest hint of wear right there. So yeah, I'm okay buying fines from them, especially if the price is really cheap. Uh, so this is Avengers number two. What did I pay on that? Avengers. Avengers. I can't find this one. Can't find this one. No, I cannot find this one. Ah, right, okay. I hate when these go. Uh, no, I know. I was just. I basically. I looked up one in twenty five because I love getting the ratios, knowing that they're kind of rare, right? How much do they print? They print a hundred thousand copies. That's still a 4,000 print run, which is, you know, kind of high, but not that high. But they only print 10,000 copies. Some of these probably only have, like, 500 copies or 1,000 copies. Like, a lot of these, I think, are pretty rare. And I, it's the kind of stuff you don't find easily in dollar bins or just casually hunting. So I was like, I'm going to buy every single one I could find for a really good price. Ah, uh, okay. Now if I could just find... This is Avengers 2. I can't find it on my... Okay, I'm just assuming it's between $5 and $10. I cannot find it on here. I'll keep it to the side. Uh, number three. Oh, we got two in a row. All right, is there two right next to each other? Avengers. I, oh, I guess this is the X sanction. That's why I can't find it. Okay, so I paid... Number two, I paid six. And number three, I paid eight. So for one and 25s, that's really awesome. Uh, we got the Army of Darkness versus Reanimator number one. Army of Darkness. Uh, this one was four bucks. I believe that's a one in twenty-five. Awesome Sudam cover. Uh, Barbarella number five. This one was uh, five. Uh, yeah, this one was four bucks. I don't remember if this was a one in ten or a one in twenty-five. But it was a really cool, rare, dark two cover. So I just grabbed it. I don't know if it's as good of a ratio, but still awesome cover. Uh, we have Nightwing number 60. I think this is just the B cover. So not a rare one, but it is a uh, Warren Liu cover. Love Warren Liu. So I knew I had to have that one. That one was four bucks. And a lot of times I'll just buy an issue. Like I might have been able to find it on eBay for cheaper, but then you pay for shipping and all that. And it's going to be more than $4. So sometimes I just grab stuff. Knowing that it would be really hard to find it in general for a cheaper price. If I hunt dollar bins for years, yeah, maybe. But I kind of wanted it today. So I grabbed it. All right, Avengers Forever number 13. This one was 8 bucks for a 1 in 25. I really like the cover on that one. I love the coloring and the design on that one. Uh, Barbarella number 6. This one was $3.60. Another beautiful dark chew. I don't think it was a 1 in 25. I think it was probably like a 1 in 10 or a 1 in 7. Uh, we have the Sam Lee Avengers World number 1. Beautiful 1 in 25 variant. This one is uh, Avengers World. Let's see if I can find this on here. Avengers World. This one was $3.20. I'll buy it. Like a 1 in 25 for $3.25. Feels like a steal. Uh, we have NYX number two. This is just a regular cover, but it is a Rose Besh cover. I love her artwork. I'm trying to get the rest of the comics I need. And it was only $2.50. Uh, we have all new X-Men number 33. A really fun Deadpool cover. I believe it's a 1 in 25 as well. And this one was $3.20. $3.20 for a rare cover like that? That's amazing. Uh, all new Captain America number 3B. I believe a 1 in 25 again. That one was 8 bucks. I really like that one, though. Sometimes if the cover is, like, really awesome, I'll, I, you know, I don't mind paying a little bit more. Uh, A-Force number 2, 1 in 25 variant. This one was uh, $4.80. This is fun. I think I'm going to have to do this again. Try to find a whole bunch more ratios that they have for relatively cheap. Uh, Action 37... This one was five bucks for a one in twenty-five. Awesome. Action thirty-nine. This one was. 
Uh, five bucks again, one in twenty-five for five dollars feels like a steal to me. Even if it's not like the most popular series, it's still a rare Superman cover. Uh, and then Amazing Spider-Man number fifteen. This one was five bucks, and this cover is amazing. Like I'm surprised this one doesn't go for more than five bucks, because it's a beautiful, gorgeous cover. It's a rare variant. Uh, sometimes I just think things go under... Like, I feel like that's an under-the-radar book. It's maybe one that people haven't showed on YouTube or whatnot. And because of that, the value hasn't really jumped up. But I feel like that's a book that should have more value than 5 bucks. Uh, okay, let me clear these out. And then we got two more bundles to go through. So this is fun. We're going to keep going. Keep digging through the books. Okay. All right, we got another bundle to dig through. I don't know about you guys, but I do really like ratio variants. I just like that they're kind of rare. They're a little bit different. Uh, I mean, sometimes they have amazing artwork. If they have kind of like okay artwork, but not the best, just the fact that it's a cover that you don't see that often makes it more exciting to me. Just getting stuff that's a little bit rarer, just, it's, it's fun. Like this, Age of Apocalypse number five. I've never seen this cover before. This is a cover that you just do not see. So it's like when I see something cool like this, that's kind of probably low print for a good price. I'm going to grab it. Uh, Age of Apocalypse. This one was 8 bucks. Leave a 1 in 25 again. We have uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number 4. I believe a 1 in 25. Uh, this one was 4 bucks. 4 bucks seems like an amazing deal on that. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Batman and the Joker Deadly Duo, number two. Again, I believe a 1 in 25. And, uh, man, these are out of order again. Batman, uh, this one was 10 bucks. I paid $10 for that one. But I thought it was a pretty cool cover, so I had to get it. Batman, oh, wait, let me just double check. Yeah, 10 bucks for that one. Okay, this that one might actually have been a 1 in 50 ratio now that I think of it. Uh, this one is, I think it's just a B cover. Or no, it's a C cover. It is really cool. Oh, it's the bag. Yeah, the bag has wear on it. It's a cool um, Crush and Lobo Dan Hip foil cover. I just, I had to order this one. I think this is the issue that actually made me place this order. I had so much stuff in my cart from the last month of looking. And then when I saw this one on eBay for like 10 bucks, I was like, I got to check my comic shop. They had it cheaper. Uh, let me see what this one went for. Crush and Lobo. This one was $7. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get it. I need to order it. That one's gorgeous. Uh, Batman and Robin 13. I love these pre-New 52 1 in 25s because these are really hard to find. And I think the print runs are really low on these. Uh, Batman and Robin... This one was $4.80. Felt like a steal to me. Uh, I think this is a like a 1 in 7 or a 1 in 10. Uh, I bought it just because it's, it's a Lyrics Lee cover. Love her artwork. I think it's wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, this one was 4 bucks, So still a great price. That's pretty much regular retail for like a kind of, you know, kind of rare book. Um, all right, Batman, number 121. This is uh, just a regular variant. It doesn't say 1 in 25, so I might just grab it because I like the cover a lot. Uh, Batman, 121. This one was 10 bucks. This must have been a 1 in 25 because I don't think I would have bought it if it was just a regular like B variant. Uh, NYX, number 3. This one was $2.70. Another awesome Rose Besh cover. Love her covers. Avengers Assembled, number 9, a 1 in 25. Uh, this one was four bucks. Really fun cover. Love that one. Uh, super awesome. Lee and Hook Batman 127. Love his covers. I try to buy everything he's done that I don't have. And this one was, uh, was it Batman 127? Where are you on my list? Some of these are kind of hard to find. Because there's, you know, I bought so many. So I look Batman. It's like 38 different lines for Batman. Batman... 28, 132, 123, 120. Uh, 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 this one was 14 bucks. Oh, yeah. So this is a 1 in 25 Lee and Hook variant. I love Lee and Hook. So getting a 1 in 25 variant felt like it, I was willing to pay $14 for it. That felt like a really good price, actually. Especially how gorgeous that cover is. 
uh, Avengers ten or Avengers one million BC. Really cool painting cover. And that one was I gotta find it. It's a long name, so I should, oh yeah, there's twelve bucks. So I believe that's that might be more than a one in twenty five. That might be a one in fifty. It might just be a one in twenty five. And I thought the cover was gorgeous, so I was willing to pay a little bit more for it. Uh, oh, this is one. What is this? Basilic two. This is uh, this one was nine eighty. So I believe this is a one in twenty five. Amazing Fantasy number three. This one was uh, $9. So I believe that's a 1 in 25. Uh, oh, I love this one. I, I'm become a huge fan of Dan Hip covers. I just think they're so whimsically fun. And uh, just I think it's just a regular B variant. So this one was probably, you know, cover price. Let me see if I can find it. Batman 120. Uh, no, this one says I paid 15 bucks for it. So I have a feeling this one is a little bit of a rarer ratio. Because I would have looked that one up before I bought it. That one is awesome. Uh, Batman 123. This one says it's a 1 in 25 JN and a Kleto cover. Awesome cover. Absolutely love that one. Batman 123. Uh, this one was 1250. Love that one. Uh, Astonishing X-Men number 7. This one was, I can't find it, number seven. Man, it's hard to find these. I wish they were all alphabetized. That will make my life a little bit easier. Okay, this one was four bucks, one in 25. That's pretty awesome. Uh, really awesome Rose Bish New Champions of Shazam number four. I think that's just a B cover. Uh, let's see, number four. New Champions, if I can find it. Uh, there it is. Uh, that one was just five bucks, so cover price. But you know, I don't mind paying cover price if it's one of my favorite artists. Otherwise, I try to find a you know it out on a discount. Amazing Spider-Man number twenty-two. This one is. If I can find it. This one was six bucks, so I think that's a one in twenty-five. Uh, really amazing Audie Grant off Invincible Iron Man number one. I believe that's a 1 in 25, which is awesome. I love his artwork. Uh, Invincible Iron Man 1. That one was 10 bucks, but worth it. Worth $10 for a 1 in 25 ratio. That's gorgeous like that. Uh, Avengers Extinction again. Or X Sanction. X Sanction, yeah. Avengers X Sanction. Number 4. I don't know why these aren't in order. They're like all mixed up all over the place. Avengers, 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 Avengers. Where are you? I can't find this one. Uh, these are all mixed up. Okay, I'm just assuming the other two I paid six and eight, so I'm guessing it's probably around the same price, six to eight dollars. If I see it, I will let you know the total. Okay, so that's good. All right, we have one more bundle of awesome ratios to go through. Okay. Ooh, I'm definitely getting tired. It's been a long day. We did the whole comic thing. I'm going to edit the... So if you guys haven't seen Pop Walks, I did the live stream going to the Brooklyn Invasion show. It was a ton of fun. And then I... Um, tomorrow, I'm going to try to edit it so it's like a better version for the comic channel. But if you guys want to see the full version, I'm not 100% sure if it's finished processing. But it would be on Pop Comics. Okay, we got uh, Avengers vs. X-Men, number 8. Uh, Avengers vs. X-Men, number 8. If I can find it. Avengers vs. X-Men, number 8. Oh, I'm getting tired. It's getting hard to see. <laughs> My vision is like, who am I looking at? It's all jumbling together. Uh, no, number 9. I paid 5. Oh, is it number? No, it's number eight. Uh, I don't know. I probably paid four or five. Thank you. I appreciate it, Tina. I probably, it's a one in 25. I believe I paid four or five for that. Uh, Extraordinary X-Men number two. That's an awesome cover. Love that one. Extraordinary X-Men. Where are you? There we go. That one was uh, only $2.50. That feels like a steal for a ratio like that. Uh, Nightwing number 61, another awesome Warren Liu cover. 
Absolutely love that one. Nightwing 61 was five bucks. Just a B cover, not a ratio or anything. Um Oh, very cool, Joseph. That's amazing. Yeah, a lot of these are all ratios. So if you had you must have had a really awesome ratio comic collection at some point if you had a lot of these. Uh Nightwing number 63. Again, just a B variant, but the Warren Lou. Uh Nightwing number 63. This one was five bucks. Do love Warren Lou stuff. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number three, one in twenty-five. Uh is it oh it's the all new Guardians of the Galaxy. This one was uh, four bucks. Four bucks for a one in twenty-five is amazing. Uh, amazing fantasy number two. What a gorgeous cover. So I'm pretty sure that was a one in twenty-five as well. And this one was eight dollars and forty-nine cents. And then we have Batman 125. Batman 125. Where are you? There we go. That one was eight bucks. I believe that was a one in twenty-five as well. Avengers of the Wasteland. I think I saw a whole bunch of those together. Avengers of the Wasteland. This is number two. This one was five sixty. I believe that's a one in twenty-five. Uh number three, again a one in twenty-five. That one was uh four twenty. And then number four was four bucks. So those are really cool ratios. Uh, NYX number 1B. This, again, is just a B variant, I believe, not a ratio. But I'm trying to get all the Rose Bash that I do not own. And this one was $3.70. Pretty good price on that. Okay, and then we have Avengers 36, a 1 in 25 Deadpool cover, which is super cool. Avengers 36. This one was four bucks. Amazing deal on that. Uh, Vincible Iron Man number three. Uh, sort of looks like an autograph. No, it's a uh, uh, Jiang cover, I believe. No, it's Sting. I can't read the name. Uh, super cool looking cover, though. Invincible Iron Man number three. I paid five bucks for that one. Uh, let's see. Dawn of DC 135. Unless, Joseph, are you watching the video from the beginning? You might be watching from the beginning. Then you, yeah, have a lot of old stuff. Lots of fun old stuff. All right, Batman 135. This one is uh, 10 bucks, I believe. Yeah, it's a 1 in 25, a Lee Bermeo Hugh. I do like his artwork. Uh, this is another awesome Dan Hint. This might be just a regular Dan Hip. Let's see what the price I paid, though. It depends on the price I paid. So this is Batman 119. 119. So I paid 840 on this one. So I feel like it's a ratio. It doesn't say in the barcode, but I'm pretty sure that one's a ratio. It's also 2016, so maybe it's older. I think it's only the last few years that they started putting it in the barcode. Not no, well, that one's 260. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Awesome cover, though. Absolutely love that. Uh, this is a super fun cover. Armor Wars number two. Armor Wars number two. No, that's number one. Man, I wish these were in order so I could find... Oh, there it is. Uh, $3.20. Pretty awesome. Armor Wars. Uh, let's see. All New X-Men number three. That one's cool. All New X-Men. Where are you? All New X-Men number three. No, that's... 33... Uh, this one was 480. Pretty sure that's a one in 25. Pretty awesome book. Uh, let's see. All Star Section 8. This one was uh, $5. I believe a one in 25. Uh, Lazarus Project. I think this is just a regular variant, like not a, a ratio or anything. Beautiful. It's one of my all time favorite Raven covers now, though. It's such a beautiful cover. So this one, I just, I decided, this is another comic that kind of pushed me over the edge of, I need to buy this now. I don't think it's rare, though, so they probably would have stayed in stock a long time. But uh, I just had to have it. Lazarus Planet Legends. This one was six bucks. I paid cover price on that one, basically. Uh, and then we got Deceased a Day, no, Deceased a Good Day to Die. And this one was $3. I bought this one. just It's just a regular A cover, but I really love the artwork on it, so I paid $3 for it. Okay, I think that's everything. Wow, we went through a lot of books tonight. 
Wow, I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to put all these into a box, and then I'm going to sleep. You guys have a fun time? I had a fun time. Okay, I can flip around. All right, I want to let you guys know. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for hanging out with me for two hours, going through a ton of comic books. Uh, I think tomorrow night I'm going to try to do another big comic haul to get through a lot more comics. If not, I'll be on the walking channel tomorrow at least. So watch me walk around and we can talk about whatever you want. Uh, if not, I'll be back with comics here. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you tomorrow.